Friday, I'm heading off to the Spanish uh, week is over and it's the second uh, day of the month of love, February. Yes, I'm so thrilled it's the weekend and in uh, one more week and we do have uh, two consecutive weekends and it's a uh, bank holiday, Friday and a Friday. So it's gonna be a precedent tie and the other one is uh, I think that is a Lincoln Memorial. I don't know which which is first but no matter what <laughs> I am on three day. It's not today next uh, this week, it's uh, next uh, okay this coming week. And I'm planning a uh, coffee with my mom. Hopefully that goes through. It's still uh, winter anyway, but uh, the weather is uh, spitting. Uh, look at that. Yay! Yeah, so I can see the blue sky and it looks like uh, the day, the daylight is uh, becoming longer and longer. Unlike in the past, at uh, 5 o'clock, it's uh, 5 now, it's uh, pretty much almost dark. And at 6, it's a uh, pitch block. So this is an indication that winter is uh, coming to its end soon and very soon. And uh, spring is here. This needs to start. As a matter of fact, I started uh, sorry, uh, sneezing, but it looks like it's uh, becoming in control. I think the, uh, the intermittent day fasting thing we're doing is working, working so well. It's been my four months now. Uh, yeah. I, I do intermittent day fasting, so practically I only eat four times a week. So now it's my feast time. The last meal I had prior to this ending fast was uh, uh, that was uh, Wednesday. So Thursday no food, and the first uh, night meal I had was at the work at half past three. Right, and uh, I I'm, I got lots of energy and didn't feel any hunger at all. And I, I can feel that the autophagy is happening in my body. Uh, ketogenesis is uh, in, is in action, and dop dopamine is uh, good. And uh, rested, mind clear, yeah. That's one of the several effects of uh, fasting. So we all eat, right? We eat, we store, we eat, we store. But in fasting, you eat store, fast, and use. Makes sense, isn't it? So when we eat uh, even a small grain of sugar, the insulin secreted by the pancreas, a little bit of science here, uh, increases. So if we eat uh, six meals a day, right, three square meals, and uh, snacking in between, uh, that's the, uh, the most common trend nowadays. Has been, right, years back. So they said, uh, two hours after my first meal, I need to get it because I get to build my stamina. That is a myth already, to my opinion. I've been listening to many experts over the internet, uh, and they and they and it's scientifically proven. And I have a living document, right? A living example, I would say. Yes. Uh, yeah, we have been um, a snacking community every two hours here and um, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. For me, that is uh, now a myth. It's wrong. <laughs> yeah, it came from those cereals which are heavily laden with sugar. Each time all we eat, the sugar spikes because I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, the sugars, uh, sorry, it's an insulin that spikes. And insulin is a uh, fat storing hormone. Any excess of sugar will distort the fats. If you don't allow the, uh, the, the stored sugar to be absorbed, naturally absorbed by the body for energy, so the sugar will be stored and stored in excess of the storage will turn into uh, fats. And our body has the ability to use uh, the stored sugar and the glycogen. And uh, when the body uses uh, the fats, um, the insulin level is low, right? And that's what we want to have. And this will prevent us to become insulin uh, resistant. If we're insulin resistant, our insulin will always high. 
no matter whether uh, we eat or not because it's been high for 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 eating multiple times <laughs> right I mean, the wall. yeah so yeah i'm not an expert but i've been learning a lot as in you will get some more information that i apply to myself yeah so our body can use the stored sugar as well as the stored fats when the body says that there is no food entering our gut and by doing that it's kind of like a pantry so we we store food in the pantry we buy, the, buy from the grocery store once again and we still have more stocks so why not let the stocks run out or at least to the bare minimum uh, yeah and you know, before stocking up again just like in eating so eat uh i would say we have to time our eating so that's why fasting is uh, one of the best way to reset our body to reset our gut as well as uh, to make use of the old cells and uh, through autophagy and these old cells will be used by body to supply us with energy and this will eventually if we are doing a longer fast so about more than 24 hours 36 hours that may induce the formation of the stem cells and that's what you want as a matter of fact based on uh, uh, this uh, the information that i've heard and learned over the internet <laughs> thank you internet that's some good stuff about you from the experts from medical doctors from nephrologists uh, from, from cardiologists and nutritionists right and uh, yeah our body has that natural mechanism to produce stem cells and these can even reverse one of the most dangerous and pretty much common um, disease in the world particularly here in the in north america practically everywhere is um, type 2 diabetes it can reverse it so taking insulin is not a good thing because it just spikes it up and uh, causing the storage of uh, sugar and fats so with that said storing fats is high in sugar high in insulin um that's why uh, people who are taking insulin have their tendency is to have a slow metabolism and uh, gain weight and uh, if your uh, intention is to lose weight exercise is not the final solution because more often than not people exercise and they have uh, something to drink like Gatorade. Gatorade is heavily laden with sugar and doesn't do it. Yeah, you're burning calories, but you are not, um, you know, we're not allowing our body to use the stored sugar and sugar fat. So, exercise and uh, exercise and uh, uh, fasting is a good combination. But, let me remind everyone, fasting is not for everybody. Let me repeat it. Fasting is not for everybody. So if you are a uh, diabetic, you should consult your medical practitioner. And uh, if you have other uh, medical conditions, particularly uh, diabetes and cardiovascular disorders, or taking uh, prescription medicine, it is better to uh, ask the professional first before you decide. My body is good. And my intention, I don't need to lose weight. Uh, currently, I'm, uh, I'm 50 uh, kilograms, 112 pounds, which I love, right? And my body fat is uh, 4%, 3 to 4%. That's normal. It should not go down to 3%. Our body needs uh, fats. They're important. It's a cushion and it's for immunity. So do not go below 3%. So I did weigh myself this morning and with my body fat uh, monitor as well. I weigh 112 pounds, which is equivalent to 50 kilos, which is good. And my body fat is 4%, right? Ranging from 4 to 3 to 4%. 25% body fat for men like me is, uh, is considered obese. That's why uh, we have these monitor uh, dose, right? so much for this. Bye for now. Once again, I got my here. Keep going so hard. Right. So, let's, 
ada istim bisa disimpan di istirahat di sana bisa disimpan di sana ke By the way, the next destination, I changed one instead of Cape Verde, Cape Verde, uh, I am heading off to or Cabo Verde, uh, heading off to Sevilla this time, I'm heading off to uh, Kazakhstan, so the, uh, the seventh largest country in the world, it's long lot but it has a lot of things to do, and it's uh, it's a huge uh, country in Central Asia. Uh, the next, after that, maybe in the summer, I am heading off to uh, Kyrgyzstan. I'm thinking of doing both, but this is only a short trip. I only have uh, 11 days, so I would rather uh, use my 11 days to explore uh, Kazakhstan. And thinking about summer, heading back to Central Asia, but this time in Kyrgyzstan. Uh, there are bordering countries though, but uh, although Kyrgyzstan is a small Lachlan country as well, there's lots of things to see and do. Uh, somebody advised that 7 to 10 days will be a great number of days to explore the beauty of the country. Right, and uh, the other will be other destination this summer is still in progress. And oh, by the way, look at the wonderful reservoir. It's in progress, but it will be in Asia, right? Yeah, so definitely Philippines is a must. <laughs> All right, once again, heading off to Car Kazakhstan this uh, actually next month in March. And I'm skipping Cape Verde for now for other vacations, just change plan. And um, definitely, it's already a must. I got my airfare already. And Accommodation. I just need to finalize my itinerary and heading off to. I want to go to Kyrgyzstan. And then, oh, by the way, I just came from uh, uh, the seventh continent. I'm not today. It's uh, an epic travel. Once again, traveling is not arriving to a new destination. It is a looking at the world in a different perspective. Give a smile, and the world will really smile at you. Cheers. Be safe. Bye and God bless everybody. Keep us smile.